Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Now, let's finally, really, start climbing Mount Gagazet. Been here for quite a few episodes, and just delaying, delay, delay, but, well, there's no avoiding it. There's nothing else for me, well, nothing else that I want to do that I can do. Let's just put it that way. I was going to say nothing else for me to do, but that's not quite true. There's lots of stuff we can do at the Calm Lands, but I don't want to do any more there. I'm done. Not until later, anyway. What's that? These mark the graves of summoners and guardians who failed. Nuts. But if they died, then who erected them? What, the, the Ronzo? I don't know. The enemies here do start getting a lot more HP than before. So yeah, a lot of these battles, well, they're just going to take a while. And I'm editing them all out. Fortunately, at least in this episode, I'm doing post-commentary because I don't want to have my sentences interrupted every five seconds. So, yeah, I figured, eh, I, I just Hello, won't Yuri. do live commentary for this episode. Well. Usually I do, but I not today. how old you are now that you're watching this sphere. You must be very beautiful, like your mother. I just left it in the middle of nowhere, hoping that you'd randomly find this someday. Why did they, like, drop these things, like, in random spots? What, are they, like the Dragon Balls when you die or make a wish they spread across the world or something? So far, I don't know. Our journey has been very entertaining. Of course. If by entertaining you mean murdering people, yeah. It is the path I have chosen. Well, it's kind of a long, narrow hallway. You don't really have much of a choice. You have to find your own path. Do what you must do the way you want to do it. And who you must Doors do. Doors will always open themselves to those who do. Listen close, Yuna. Your future is yours to make. Live the way you want to. Whatever By that, I mean do exactly what I did. father's full support. Yuna, I will always be with you. I guess that's Jack and Oran in the background. I can't really get a good look at them. Yeah, I can, yeah, it's them. It's them. But anyway, if you've gotten all ten spheres, you unlock Oran's final overdrive. If you did not go all the way back to Pesay to get that one, well, then you're not going to uh, unlock all of them. So don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I know, I know. I haven't done much with Titus's overdrives. Keep on forgetting. Well, I'll grind them out sooner or later. It'll be really easy. It just, uh, well, takes a while, that's all. I, I, I won't be able to do it until later in the game. Summoners I mean. that die up here aren't sent to the far plane. Oh. Why not? Who would send them? They die alone. Apparently everything that happens at Gagazette so stays in Gagazette. Many I almost said gadgets in, but now that's another game. In a desert well, area, Yuna anyway. Will be fine. But I like the town. You're right. More of a fan of Booty Bay, though. I'll be honest with you, viewers. H.C. Bailey hears the call of Booty. I mean, it's a pirate town. How do you beat that? Yeah, I'm trying to be real careful as I go around these corners with the changing camera angles and the the chest and everything so you can see where I'm going just in case I get into a random battle just as a screen transition happens so yeah lots of hidden chests around here this area kind of reminds me of uh, the Goron area in Majora's Mask I gotta play that game again one of these days greetings lady you I love that area my name is once. I wish I had a Goron mask for this area but sadly we have met I do not. times before right we have Not running today. I mean, I've seen the guy, but I, I, don't, I wouldn't call that meeting someone. My business. You uh -oh. met him, I think. Oaka the twenty-third, merchant extraordinaire. You can't Wait, tell by the you're accent. Guy's brother? Hmm. My brother wanted to come help Lady Yuna, but the temple imprisoned him for helping traitors. Nuts. They imprisoned him because of us. Couldn't he have just he bribed them that. or something? In fact, he told me. Before they took him. Don't worry about me. Just go help Lady Yuna. By taking her money? Why would your brother do this for us? 
Well, hey, this isn't the time for talking. There's dealing to be done. Yeah, Welcome pretty much. To Sorry, viewers. It's true. It's true. But anyway, we do want to buy a really good weapon for him. The Survivor with the Alchemy ability. It doubles the effectiveness of all items. It is really good for Riku there. It also works with her use command as well. So, yeah, it'll be really, really nice. Thanks. So, yeah, we don't really need her capture death strike right now anyway there. And we're all set and ready to continue on. I think if you've donated money to Awaka earlier in the game, he... You get discounts from wants still. At least that's how I recall it all happening, or working anyway. But alright, we got a few more spheres and lots of sphere levels to use, so let's put those to use. By the way, uh, last time someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, I noticed some enemies in this area are also in the previous area, like the Nidho Nidhog, or however you pronounce that guy's name. Uh, I... It, there's enemies that are not just indigenous to a single area. Uh, how, did the, how does that work with capturing? Well, in uh, like in the case of the Nidhogg, it applies only to one area as far as the total goes. So even if you capture a Nidhogg in this area and, or, and one in the uh, Cavern of the Stolen Faith there, uh, it'll... It'll only apply to your total in the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Now, I'm just looking at my HP totals here, because th I'm thinking about using that HP sphere, probably on Yuna, there. I was thinking about Lulu, because Kamari could take advantage of that, too, but nah. So, yeah, I mean, if uh, even if you capture the enemy here, it'll apply to the other area. Uh, Nidhogg just doesn't count for this area at all. So you don't need to worry about that. There's other enemies like that too. Like I think in the Cavern of the Stolen Faith you can meet up with Marlboros, but they only apply to the Calm Lands even if you capture them there. So there's not too many enemies like that though. Most enemies are only met up within one area in this game. And I kind of like that. It makes each area feel more unique. But... Eh, maybe a little crossover here and there is all right. By the way, uh, while you're here uh, capturing a bunch of monsters, you also want to capture five grenades, as opposed to just one of each, like pretty much everything else. Uh, the reason is because not only are there uh, what they call area creations at the monster arena, which is for capturing one of each monster in an area, there's also what are called species creations which involve capturing a certain number of monsters from a particular species. In this case, bomb-type enemies. And for this one, we need... For bombs, we need five grenades in order to fulfill that. So that's just something you want to keep in mind there. Um, let's see. I think I want to go left with Oran. So, yeah. Let's put those uh, level three key spheres to use there. Man, I'm starting to run out of those things. I hope I don't. Huh? If I do, I'll, well, I'll find a way to get more of them. But they are pretty hard to find otherwise. Now, at this point on Lulu's sphere grid, you have a choice of going to the right, which will ultimately lead to learning Flare. Or you can go this way, which will ultimately lead to learning Double Cast, which is where I want to go first for both Kamari and Lulu. And eventually, once I get another special sphere, I could teach double cast to Yuna as well. But uh, not today. Not today. Fortunately, I've got, well, a level 4 key sphere, so I'll be able to get in there eventually. And I only need to use one of those per... Uh, well, for the entire sphere grid, not per, not per character. So that'll help us out a little bit. But yeah, this time I actually am going to have Kamari take the branching path, because double cast is just so good at this point, because we got the level 3 elemental spells. Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, I was saying last time how I don't want characters uh, going into other characters' parts of the sphere grid, and, well, clearly I have broken that rule by having Yuna get steel in use, and, well, I guess I forgot. 
But, I mean, well, it's not really a hard and fast rule. It's just something that I'm... I just want to try and keep characters at least All somewhat way, unique. Only to fail. It must have been tough. Like, I don't want Titus to start learning a whole bunch of healing magic and then basically have Yuna be even more useless than she already is. So... I just want my results to be as replicable as possible. Basically, once I get to the end of a character's sphere grid, I'm no longer going to develop them any further, so that way my stats don't become like post-game stats, and then I just kill the final boss in one or two hits. You know, no, no, I'm not, I I'm gonna make it, or at least try to make it, as interesting as possible. With, uh, well, what I can do here. And then once we get to the post-game, then we can become obscenely powerful and get all the overdrives and stuff like that. So, okay, well, we made it to the, well, second save point, like Gagazette, and I definitely want to, uh, well, do more sphere gridding before moving on past this point. Now, let's see, yeah, we got the, let's see, I think that's a magic node down there, so that'll be really good for Yuna with her new black magic. She's even more powerful than Kamari with his, uh, wizard lance there. Holy cow. Let's see, I think I'm going to skip that uh, strength node to the left there. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think that's worthwhile. But I do want to go up and get a uh, double cast there. So let's use our lone level 4 key sphere. I could have held Orm back to use the level 4 key sphere for him and get that zombie strike ability and the MP plus 40 node. But I'm going to come back there later anyway. So yeah, I'm not really worried about it. And level 4 key spheres are actually much easier to acquire than level 3 key spheres. But yeah, there's also another ability on this branching path that I'm taking or on there, uh, Entrust, which basically lets you take your overdrive gauge and give it to someone else. And that'll be really useful for us in the post game. So I really like that ability. And now I'm going to create a backup save file just in case I screw up something, or even something down the road and I want to backtrack to before this point. Have we reached the peak yet? Or Man, how long is this area? Anyway, it's a lot of random battles. It's like du double what I usually encounter. I wonder if the encounter rate's a lot higher here. You know? Sure seems like it. Zanarkand is on the other side, you know? I know. Couldn't they have just, like, dug a tunnel through the mountains so that we don't have to... Get the final Aeon, you know? You know, go all the way over it and all this cold and everything? I haven't thought of anything. Or maybe go around it or take a boat there? What are we gonna do? We'll do something. We just don't know enough yet. Until we do, we really can't help Yuna. We can keep her alive. Let's go to Zanarkand. We'll find something there. It'll all come together. I know it. We'll solve a thousand-year-old problem in the span of about five minutes. Hmm? Yeah, 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 pretty much. You Standard fare for leader, JRPG. Yeah? Star of the Xanarkand Abes. Didn't anyone tell you? Didn't I tell you how great I am? Thank you. Huh? Hmm? What? Uh-oh. Nuts. Uh, hey, how's it going? The son of Jack. Riku, run ahead and tell Oren. I'm gonna kick you his are ass. Not fighting him alone. Just go, go! Why not? I could take him. <laughs> now is your time to die. Prepare yourself, son of Jack. Seymour, not you killed I your father. Him. Prepare Stop to die. Him. I mean, uh, or, well. Yeah, pretty much. A pleasure. Yuna. Could you send him now, like I'll you should have done the last so three soon. or four times? Allow me to say something to the last Ronso before I leave. Hmm? What do you mean, the last one? <laughs> Yours was truly a gallant race. 
They threw themselves at me to bar my path. Evidently, they didn't do too well. After another. <laughs> no. Kimari. Ah, now Seymour finally starts suffer. sounding like a villain. Or at least I more like one that it, I like. Allow Kimari to die and release him from his pain. Who do you think you are, Kaiser Zero. Soze? Is nah. a land of nah. suffering and sorrow caught in a spiral of death. But you didn't to see that reference coming, did you, to Pyrrhus? Heal, Spira, I will become sin. What do you mean, become yes, sin? With your help. How are you gonna pull that one off? Come with me, Yuna. Or I'll just stalk you to the ends of the earth. Once I have become the next sin, your father will be freed again. You mean dead? Uh, what do you know? How does he even know about that? Pitiful mortal. Thanks. But you're dead, so doesn't doesn't that make your you mortal too? Oh my goodness, he can actually raise his voice more than half an octave! For boss time! Okay, now this fight normally can be pretty tough, but... Well, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve once again. Unfortunately, you can't do the reflect trick like you could before. Now, we do have some trigger commands, but I'm going to save those for later. First things first, we want to get poison on him. You could either use Lulu's Bio, but uh, if you stole a Poison Fang earlier, then you could use that too. It's much more accurate there. And I also want to use the Mighty Silence Grenade. Uh, he has a lot of resistance to silence and poison, but by using the items that cause it, you have a much higher chance of getting that to land. Unfortunately, he got two turns in a row, and, yeah, he does Lance of Atrophy, turns you into a zombie, or gives you the zombie status, and then uh, casts full life if he gets two consecutive turns. Which is one reason why I cast Haste, because I thought I might be able to interrupt that and use a Holy Water, but unfortunately, I did not. So, oh well. Jibber Jabber! You have angered Kimari. The spirits of the Ronso will guide Gimari's spear. Spirit Lance? No. No, that's not until later. Now you see he got a zombie on Riku there. And I could use a Holy Water, but I think I'm just going to sub her out and not have to worry about that. So let's see. Let's go... Oh, right. I got uh, Double Cast. Yeah, I could use that. And so basically by silencing Seymour, pretty much all he can do for a while is just that Lance of Atrophy. Uh, eventually, if you didn't silence him, he would cast Protect on himself, or eventually, even later on, cast Reflect, or he would... Do you not want to heal Spira's sorrow? Let death carry you off into peaceful slumber. You can't run from your fate. Yeah, once he casts Reflect on himself, he's going to cast Flare on himself and bounce it onto you. So you can't do the strategy I did last time, where I just provoked and then reflect. No, it doesn't work that way. Besides, I think he's immune to provoke this time around. So yeah, he's working around that. He can also dispel your buffs. I was thinking about uh, having her use... or having her steal... But she's undead. I don't want to risk her getting hit with uh, full life there. I, I, want, I wanted to try and steal maybe some more uh, elixirs from Seymour if I could. But uh, no, no, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So yeah, because he's silenced now, he really can't do a whole lot. I mean, there is that other part, that Mordu, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, Riku's still... Undead. I was. I keep on forgetting that. <laughs> okay, let's bring in Titus and start going to town. Yeah, that's why I equipped all those strength boosting weapons on Titus or on 
and uh, Waka there. He has no elemental affinities, but, uh, ow, ow, please don't kill me. Thank you. Hmm. See, I'm probably going to want to bring in, ironically, Riku to use um, an Owl Bed Potion. But I need to use a Holy Water first, so that way he doesn't get damaged by the Owl Bed Potion. Because remember, if you're a zombie, you're going to get hit with... Or you're going to take damage instead of healing. So let's uh, Holy Water yourself, finally. And she'll get another turn before Seymour does. So I'll be able to... Uh, yeah, use an Albed Potion, get double the healing from it, because we have alchemy now. You might have also noticed that the uh, Phoenix Down, I used Restored Yuna to fall, because I had alchemy. So yeah, about this point, he'd start casting Reflect and Flare on himself over and over and over again, but because he's silenced, he can't really do a whole lot about that. And he's charging up for another move that he can use on us, too, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Okay, now I'm going to be pretty much sticking with these three for the remainder of the fight. We're doing pretty good there. Let's get haste on everyone. Yeah, silencing Seymour Flux really cheeses this fight. If he does cast Reflect or Protect on himself, because either you didn't silence him or he recovered from it eventually then you'll want to uh, bring in Yuna to dispel those. And I want to overkill him with Titus because Oan probably can't get the job done. And it's at about this time that I wish I finished him off anyway. Ow. Ow. Okay. You got him. Please don't kill me. Ow. Wow, that hurts. Okay, well, we want to bring in Riku to revive Titus there. So yeah, Phoenix down with alchemy pretty much becomes full life. It's obscene. See, he's already back to fall. Now, what I want to do is I want to get Titus his turn before Seymour gets another turn and annihilates us again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Yuna use a Chocobo Feather on Titus, which casts haste on him because well, no one else can do that. Heal up just a little more, just in case, for whatever reason. I don't know if he just misses or something ridiculous, but... All right, we got him. So, easy enough. I probably made that look a little harder than it actually was, because he got that total annihilation on And that uh, atrophy zombie thing with full life. But it all worked out. I mean, you could get zombie proof if you wanted to, but... Yeah, I just figured just cure it with a couple holy waters and be done with it. And stay up there. And we'll never see him again. At least this time we have a reasonable excuse for not being able to send him. I mean, last time we just kind of killed him and we just transitioned out of the uh, out of Bevel. No real he will become sin explanation as to what happened. Lies. Whatever, Forget I wouldn't them. worry about it. If I, I, it's not a big deal sin, to me, really. Sir Jack will be saved. Hmm? What do you mean by that? We're leaving. You know something, tell me! You didn't tell us. Why should we tell you? <sighs> tell me. Nuts. You gotta tell her, Titus. My old man. You hit call a booty. You gotta answer the call. Sin is my old man. My old man became Sin. I don't know how or why he did it. Maybe he just wanted to kill a lot of people. Inside. And when I did, I knew it was true. Max. My old man's spear is suffering. Sorry. Even Maybe he's the devil. Knowing that Sin is your father. So? Still, you know I must. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill him. So? I know. No problem with that. Let's get him. 
I think my old man would want that. You'd fight your own father? Sure. Yeah, no problem there. <laughs> I just like it. He's like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> you sure this ain't some kind of bad toxin dream or something? Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. Then, Chapu. I, uh, I think I'll just pretend I didn't hear nothing. Yeah. I'm getting a little confused, yeah? Man, you haven't why, played this JRPG this before, have you, happen? Waka? We'll oh, wow. learn when we arrive soon. Oh, wow. But anyway, now up here, there is another treasure, but it's really hard to see. Okay, we got the first pillar, the second pillar. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's a third pillar there. Between the third and the fourth pillar on the left, we get the Saturn Crest. Yeah, it's for uh, Kamari's weapon, if I recall correctly. So, and now let's uh, finish off some sphere gridding before we move on from here. Yeah, we're getting really close to the end of almost everyone's section of the sphere grid. But yeah, I mean, pretty much I'll dabble a little bit in other characters' sphere grids, but I'm not going to go too obscene over it. So, I mean, I'm not going to do, like, break HP limits or MP limits. I think both of those are pretty much useless anyway. But, now, I could get that luck plus one there, but I'm not going to waste a sphere on that. I'm going to wait for, like, luck plus four to use those, because uh, fortune and luck spheres are really hard to get. Not so much they're really hard, but it takes a while to uh, get all those. You know, all this talk about Jack and Titus and all this stuff and Xanarkin got me thinking, whatever happened to Xanarkin, or Titus is Xanarkin anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.